everybody. It's Suzanne Grandchamp. It's good to see you. Um, I'm just going to take a couple minutes this morning to make a video about a few things that I learned after being a divorce attorney for more than 25 years about marriage. In my career as a divorce attorney, there were a lot of people who would ask me, what do you think leads to divorce? Why does divorce occur? What was the number one or two issues um, that brought people uh, to the doorsteps of your office? And, um, and, and why do you think you know, people uh, couldn't make it in their marriages? So let's just talk about this for a little bit. First of all, there seems to be some research um, with regard to um, selecting a spouse when we're younger. So apparently when we're younger, we're more inclined to select a spouse that is the opposite of us or who is different from us. And the reason behind that apparently <clears throat> is that it relates to expanding the gene pool for any potential offspring. So rather than selecting a homogenous partner or someone who's similar to us, we select a partner who is different from us to give our offspring a broader uh, selection of genes that will help them um, grow up and, and survive into adulthood. But as you might guess, that doesn't necessarily translate into a successful marriage, especially later on. Oftentimes, <clears throat> with my clients, they were so busy in those early years, or maybe the first 10 or 15 years of having a family, raising children, getting kids to their school functions and soccer practices and um, all the busyness that is part and parcel of family life, that the differences didn't make that much difference until the children grew up and the couple had more time on their hands. So when the couple got to this juncture where the kids were growing or mostly growing, um, they came to realize they didn't have a lot in common. They didn't potentially share many of the same values. They didn't have the same dreams, hopes, wishes for the rest of their lives. Um, they basically found out that they weren't very compatible. And for many of my clients, they knew this as the kids were growing up, they were seeing differences playing out, potentially they weren't nurturing their relationship with their spouses either. Um, and that's why I saw a lot of clients who decided to get divorced once their children were either mostly raised or completely raised and out of the house. All right, folks, that's just a little personal word of wisdom for today. Uh, opposites may attract, but they don't necessarily stay together. Better to find a partner, especially if you want to raise a family who shares your same values, shares your same outlook on life, your same interests. Um, also great to have the same um, religious background, uh, if that's important to you. And also same economic status seems to bear out with regard to longevity and relationships as well. Uh, just a little personal reminder that we're still taking enrollment for Divorce Readiness Boot Camp, which begins at the end of October. Check it out on my website, SuzanneGrandChamp.com. And also, um, you can download a copy of my book, Marriages and Families Don't Divorce Wisely, also on my website for a very small charge. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks.